No, I'm not doing that no more. All right, last video of the night. I haven't did this in a long time. I hope I don't offend anybody. I really don't. But sometimes I like to throw in a little gay joke. Hey, want to hear an LGBT dad joke? What do you call a lesbian, a gay guy, a bi guy, and a trans person all in line at the grocery store? Give up? I don't know, but it's definitely not a straight line. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be with Foxy on that. Come on, it's not a straight line. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I don't usually like dad jokes, but hey. <laughs> that was funny. That, that gave me a good chuckle. It's like a third grader could have told that joke. <laughs> Sometimes that's the beauty of jokes. Oh God! See, oh come on, Mickey. thank you, Mickey. Oh, yeah, no. I, I know. I'm okay, like, okay, but Nikki it. needs it dirty. You, yeah, you Mickey, know. Yeah. How do y'all know Mickey, that Mickey. she means it that way? Have okay. you not? Wait a minute. Well, I'm sorry. Ask that question again. How do y'all know that she means grown in a not pure way? Because I don't think Mickey shares like that. Then she thought the joke was, I don't know, terrible? No, we said she th she took it as it was terrible when she did that. And then oh. we're just going right to what Mickey likes is something far more Oh, okay, okay. Now spicy. It, okay. Yeah, Mickey likes her jokes a little more spicy, so yeah. Ha, ha, ha. I thought it was funny, so... That was a wholesome. <laughs> and LL, I don't know what that means at all. So, jip it, jip it. Um, where do you all live? Uh -huh. Charlotte, North Carolina, Washington West State, Western Washington. Western Washington. And the greatest city in the world, Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Indiana. 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 The crossroads of America. Excuse me, Anna. Are you saying that I have a dirty mind and a foul mouth? Yeah. Yes. 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 Very yes. much yeah. so. Yeah. You yeah. pride I yourself mean, on it you and have learn? many I mean, times. Literally, you pride yourself on having. <laughs> A dirty mind and a foul mouth. And we love you, Auntie. And we love you. We love you. Embrace your embrace your dirty mind. Yeah. Spanish mom translation LGBT. Really? Chip mm. it. Oh, you know what? Okay. So um in my community, we didn't always put the L first. We sometimes would say, um, you know, gay, lesbian, bisexual, and trans, <laughs> which turns out to be glibit. Oh. It kind of sounds like a frog. Yeah, um, okay. I don't know. It's like it, it's it's one of those dad joke things that. Okay, do me a favor, folks, because I'm, I'm sick of y'all. If you see abbreviations, if you see LGBTQ, stop trying to pronounce it. It's the letters. Don't <laughs> don't tr don't try to make it literally a word. A word. It's not Some a word. People, see ya. Not CIA. Some people too. So that's yeah, why that's you. why we yeah. would say, you know, please just go to queer. It really does cover everybody. But it, it just sounds so I I'm gonna stick with rainbow. I, 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 I got to get used to that because yeah, I'm when, like, I yeah. up, when I was brought up, queer was not a good freaking word. Yeah, it's like now all. Oh, yeah, I'm like, and then you no. 
So I just say I rainbow it. because I'm like, you know what? That way I ain't missing. There you go. There you go. Oh, that was a good. That's a good one. That's. I don't know exactly what you mean. Now, somebody walks up to you and say, taste the rainbow, run. Charlotte, a lot of family there. Yeah, you from Charlotte because you spelled it lotta. Because <laughs> that's exactly how we say it. We don't say lot of, we lotta. Lot of family here. I've, I've written it that way many times. <laughs> Gay used to be happy though, and it still is. It still is. It still is. is. It's, it's all, you know, I just get so confused. I'm just like, there are many I'm songs trying. where we sing gay, and it just means to be happy. Oh, Ooh. it's just it's to be strange. That's it. And is to be strange is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something that you don't know about. But that, but here's the deal, though. Uh, oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. Korea used to be str strange. It used to be strange. Strange. Mm -hmm. But here, but here's how society. Have, here's how society have grown. Not at the pace we want it to be, because it still took like forty. 50, 60 freaking years. But the point is, what is strange? I mean, just because you don't want to do it or doesn't make it strange. Now, don't get it twisted. You you know something that's out of bound, illegal, and something like now, that. Here's but a when you, yeah, better but, question. But like, what is normal? What is normal? And that's normal the is a home. movable fulcrum. Normal is what you feel makes you happy. That the, and, and I say this all the time, and I, I used it for another analogy, but I can use it for this. You can do whatever you want to as long as it don't affect any other people. So that's why I said it, when you say normal, that's not normal. I'm gonna always say, and how what what are they doing that's affecting you? And when you come up with it just don't look right to me, and that's not answering my question at all. How is that affecting you at all? How is that affecting your family? Uh, my family could see it if your family probably have no problem with it whatsoever. You have a problem with it, not your family. Stop using your family as a weapon. Your family, your family, your have family no could you. You see have what two men holding hands, T two men holding hands, two, two women women's kids. arm in arm. Um, your family is not going to see much more than any normal couple's public display of affection. And you know what? You can turn around. You're so uncomfortable. Yeah, Norman. What? You um, I I disagree. Conforming. Normal is different for everybody. Normal is not one fixed state. And here's the funny thing about it: is the funny thing about this is the people who sit here and say. What they're oh, I'm sorry, there's a new word normal and natural. Remember, natural because that come that's the new thing. That's not natural. Is that like you natural do. chicken being sold at the grocery? No, what you're doing is not natural. You kissing a woman is not natural. You holding hands with a man is not natural. Oh that's God. not natural. But let's get to normal. So, we're talking about normal, and I guarantee you, if I go through your whole family. Plus, your whole life, I guarantee you I can point out stuff that's not freaking natural. I guarantee <laughs> you I can look at everything that you have done time. throughout the period of time and go, what in the world was the reason for this? And I guarantee you one of your answer, if not all of your answer, would be 
It's tradition. We've always done it like that. I like some traditions. Uh, uh, mm, mm. <laughs> None? I was to say normal is the new strange. For some people? Yeah. Marlon, you don't like any tradition? Like... <sighs> You're, you're you're talking to a black man who realized that hanging other black people from a tree was a tradition. So I have a a underground reason of not dealing too much with traditions. <clears throat> I don't have I don't have a problem with Christmas tradition um, traditions, Thanksgiving traditions, and things like that. But a lot of traditions was not very good with my with my people. So I don't want to hear people always say, we've always done mm -hmm. like that. That's tradition. When I want to sit here and tell you, your tradition started off effed up. You just continued an effed up tradition. That, that one... I mean, we're, we're literally talking about people who would go out and hang people from hey, black people from a tree after church and mm -hmm. before dinner because it was a tradition. So mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to hear what the tradition is before I say, oh, that's great. Um, so. so I have a tradition with my nephews at, uh, around Christmas time that we go out and we hit something like the dollar store. Uh, it started because my brother and I did it, but it just, it kind of switched off. They don't have a lot of money. And so we, we go hunting for little, little things that are not going to affect much in the grand scheme of things. Because most of our Christmas, um, what we focus on is teaching the next generation of our family that this is a time to be focused on other people, people who have less than we have. And... You know, we involve them in gifts where a, a wood stove will get sent to a family. We involve them in going to a, uh, um, a food bank where you are volunteering some of your time. This is our tradition. We teach our next generation to be involved in their community and, and to know that they're, this is a great time where you know, we are a non-religious family. We don't bring Jesus into it. But I do personally believe that that's a, a, to me, Jesus equals love. And, well, what a perfect Christmas uh, role model. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, just so that, you know, not every tradition was disgusting. No. No, there be there. When I hear certain things, I have to li purposely hear what the tradition is. That that's just me. I just have to hear what the tradition is because if you start off the tradition was awful and terrible and everything, but you kept it going because it's tradition, I'm like, I'm cutting. I'm I'm, I'm not listening no more. Should you be gathering around a table? Because it is November and what the third week in, 
because America continues to perpetuate this false story of this love story between the Europeans and the natives. So, you know, like, tradition for us, that's Remembrance Day. Um, For us also, traditions must change. And it yeah. Must be what's that. <sighs> Sorry. Um, wow. Sorry. Always say it. And I can blow up. <laughs> Said it last week. Okay. Can I say one more thing, actually? Oh, don't worry, because I got one more thing to say now, too. Go ahead. I, I'm, I'm on a, a different topic, so if... Good. If you have... No, go. Okay. Um. Hey, everybody. It's still May. It's still Lyme Awareness Month. It's also still uh, Ehlers Downless Awareness Month and Arthritis Month and like a bunch of other things. So, I know people hate to hear about bug borne illnesses, but we live with bugs. These guys, ticks, are cousins to spiders. They have eight legs. One of the best ways that they get around is on deer. The number one way they get around is on birds. Anywhere that you see a bird could be a tick. A friend of mine deep in Seattle proper, downtown, in a high rise, had a, um, a window garden. Birds landed there all the time. She had a little feeder up. She got bit by a chick. She's like, I live in Seattle. Where did I get? It can happen. This, I th- I've said this before, and I'll say it again until you go to sleep with it ringing in your head. <laughs> it only takes one moment to change the rest of your life. Do not believe in those movies where it was a sequence of things that just... No. It only takes one moment, one event to change the rest of your life. So with that, and and I'm, and I'm not to in the show on a down nope there are things that we can do to protect ourselves although I want you to pay attention to that down thing we are now eight away from 2200 I'm sorry we're eight away from 200 subscribers Ah. eight away from 200 thank you so much thank you so much However, I do have a request. I just do have one little request. To all the new subscribers, please do not forget to hit that like button. To all the new subscribers, please do not forget to comment. Now, I do understand there are some people, and I get it because I used to be that type of person that I listen, I don't comment. I'm, I'm one of the people who can't do both unless you say something so outrageous that I go what the hell did you just say <laughs> and then I will comment but I am that type of person who um, who just listen and don't comment however please do not believe because I've seen shows like this so I'm putting it out there like this please do not believe that we are too up there in politics and social um, social and everything else 
that anything that's on your mind would just be like, oh, I don't want to say nothing because I don't look like, I don't want to sound like, I don't want to be like, I don't want people looking at, like, no. This channel is for learning. We do the job of teaching. We, that's our job. We teach, even if it's our opinion. And our opinions could be wrong, but we still teach. I do the research. That's my job. I do the research to give to you. So if you have a question about something that you are hearing, but you don't tell me what it is, what's the point? Open your mouth. I don't have a problem with it. Even if it's something that I've said over and over again. It's Saturday. Where the hell am I going? Where am I going? So I'll also just make a, a little plea to people. If if you you have a subject you want to hear us talk about, that the, there's an, an email, radtp at outlook dot com. Y'all y'all good with that? Now I give you that. You good with that? You will email me some stuff and I always email back it, but yes, you do. when it comes to this, it's like, oh, I don't want to say nothing because I don't want... And also, just in case you are new here, you please understand that if you bash somebody for asking a question that I know that's in good faith, Mickey knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that I will drop you like a bad habit. This is not this is not that type of show. We are not bashing people for asking certain questions. No. We literally had somebody who we had to forgive for something they said wrong on another show. And I gave them a second chance on this show and I have we have never had an issue with that person since. There are also comments that start in one direction and yet you take a a little moment get to know them yeah hear what they're saying and, and you suddenly are hearing everything the way they intended the, and a lot of times we have a lot more in common we can find it make it go ahead and email it to me then just, just email me if you don't want to talk about it on this email me i i have never I have never ever not emailed right. anybody. R A D T P at Outlook.com. Radical Truth to Power at Outlook.com. Rad T P at Outlook.com. In case I you forget. Still hear radical toilet paper. <laughs> what? <laughs> TP for me has always oh, been geez. toilet paper. Adam, so we can get off this dog <laughs> Please tell everybody where they can find you. Borrelia, etc. dot com, and what everybody can do really quick: wear some bug spray, tuck your pants into your socks. That way, when you come in from a hike or something like that, you're even just an outdoor. Some people have them in their garden. Take all your clothes off. Get in the shower. Put your clothes in the dryer on high for 10 minutes. It will kill any tick. Any good. Uh, yeah, yeah. High for 10 minutes. Get in the shower because not anything might be attached just yet. Ticks like to try to crawl and up and gain purchase at certain areas. So, like behind the knee in an armpit. Weird places. So they're they're taking some time to get to where they want. They're really small. You don't feel them. You don't feel their bite. They have a little lidocaine thing that they put in. You you, you don't feel a thing. So be proactive. Wash anything off of you that might be there. Have somebody check you because you do not see all parts of your body. Head back and be be careful. I love Emma. He saves lives. 
here in the Ukraine. Tracy, tell everybody where they can find you. TracyMediaLLC.com Where you will see so many cool videos. Yep. Oh, I'm Wait. giving up now. I'm just like, okay, just go there. <laughs> oh. just like, I'm just like, okay. Trust me, go to the last mm. video where... Okay. The schoolhouse rock. No, we, we, we talked about cereal. I have to admit this because I hate to admit this because I'll never hear the end of it. Because Tracy is my sister and she's a little brat to me because I'm the big brother. It was a lot of fun doing that video about the cereal. So please yeah, go. I'm not coming in. They jump right in there. Because he was irking me so much, I had to. It was like, what is he talking about? My favorite uh, and least favorite cereals. And this yeah. week, I'll be bringing the chicken sandwiches. You rescued me one time when she was talking about some something superhero. Oh, no. My ah. top superheroes. Don't ever do that again. No, it, no, it was. That was, you knew who was going to be my number one. You, I'm like, y'all, if you know me, you knew who was going to be my number one. No doubt about it. No, she was ruining all of our uh, Oh, when our I said, oh, TV. Tracy, Tracy ruined your childhood. And I said, Bad. Archie Bunker joined the Nation of Islam. And we got into like a long discussion. Early did. Marlon had to jump off the. <laughs> Then, we have fun. Uh, we have yeah, lots of fun. I'm pretty sure you're saying Thea. So yes, he was on there. Thea was on there from the beginning. Te the one. Tehus? What? Who is this Tehus? Theus. I is know. Like, well, poor is, Theus it, has had his name. It is in Islamic. It's Tehus. It's Tehus. Tehus. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, non-conforming individuals, that is our show for tonight. I appreciate Anna. I pre appreciate Tracy. I appreciate the four or five people who, who subscribe during the freaking show while we're going on. We are Absolutely. eight. Well, wait a minute before I even say that. Are we still eight away? Because I have to keep updating this thing and never know. Yeah, we're still eight away. So we're still oh. eight away. So I appreciate everybody. We will be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in which we are going to get into some subjects that's <sighs> not as lighthearted as this show. We're going to be talking about Clarence Thomas. Clarence you? Thomas. That's the guy okay. that's finally getting charged for. Uh, Neely? Yeah. We definitely gonna get into that story. Uh, all right. So until next time, we will see you when we see you. Peace. Nobody ain't gonna say nothing. Oh, uh, okay. I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Ted it's Cruz. been a long.